No travel agent can put a price on natural beauty. Oahu, Hawaii has it in spades, and you can experience it for free. The island's beautiful beaches, waterfalls, volcanoes, and other sites are enough to keep you occupied for your trip, but there are plenty of other experiences for budget-conscious travelers. Oahu offers a glimpse into the local culture, hiking trails of various difficulties, and more. Keep watching to learn about the top 18 free things to do in Oahu, Hawaii. 1. Waikiki Beach Hawaiian royalty used to visit this string of connected beaches to relax on its honey-colored sands and surf its high waves. Tourists visit it for the same reasons today, and it's now one of the most famous beaches in Oahu. There are plenty of ways to spend your time at this famous landmark. You can swim through or ride across the beautiful water in a paddleboard or catamaran. You can also surf the waves. Waikiki Beach is a coveted photo-op location with a perfect view of the volcanic tough cone Diamond Head. You can also visit the shops, restaurants, and designer boutiques at nearby Kalakaua Avenue. If you prefer a more relaxing experience, you can park your gear on the beach and watch the surfers and fellow beachgoers. Waikiki Beach has experiences for all Oahu visitors to enjoy. The Royal Hawaiian Center This cultural center sits in the middle of Waikiki. It's a perfect place for shopping, but also hosts weekly cultural events, including ukulele, hula, lei making, and laohala weaving sessions. You'll also enjoy live music and hula dancing performances from locals. The Royal Hawaiian Hotel, also known as the Pink Palace of the Pacific, is nearby. It offers another memorable free experience as you explore its unique architecture and design. The Pearl Harbor National Memorial The USS Arizona Memorial commemorates the 1,177 sailors killed during the Pearl Harbor attacks. Visit to catch a glimpse of the sunken battleship, get a video show, or become a part of a docent tour. This is one of the most popular landmarks in Oahu, so you'll have to arrive early. Try for one of the 1,300 walk-up tickets distributed every day. If you manage to get one, remember to arrive before 7 a.m. The memorial isn't completely free to visit. You'll have to reserve a ticket online and pay a $1 service fee. The small price is worth it for history buffs and those interested in learning more about Hawaii. Waikiki Historic Trail This trail spans two miles from Kapiolani Beach Park to Kalakaua Park. You'll learn about the history and culture of Waikiki as you walk along. The path includes 21 bronze cast surfboard markers over six feet tall. Each one sits at an important location like the Hilton Hawaiian Village, International Marketplace, and Royal Hawaiian Hotel. The more you visit, the more you'll learn about the culture and history of Hawaii. The Duke Kahanamoku statue and the healing stones of Kapoemahu aren't marked out for you, but they're worth venturing to while you're already out walking. Keep in mind the Waikiki Historic Trail is a self-guided tour. Be sure to stay on the path, follow the markers, and bring enough supplies to keep you going. The Duke Kahanamoku Statue This bronze statue, located on Kuhio Beach, is a perfect photo opportunity. It commemorates Duke Kahanamoku, an expert surfer, five-time Olympic medalist in swimming, and WW2 military police officer. If you want to do more than take a picture, you can place a lei at the statue's feet. Don't place one on the statue itself because the acidity of the flowers can chip away at the bronze. The Hawaii State Art Museum This museum is located in downtown Honolulu on the second floor of the number one Capital District building. It's open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Admission is free. You'll only need approximately 30 minutes to an hour to see all the Hawaiian art it has to offer. Manoa Falls This 100-foot waterfall sits 5 miles from downtown Honolulu. You'll need to complete a 1.5-mile hike to reach it. Once you arrive, you'll enjoy otherworldly scenery that feels like a part of an ancient rainforest. It's full of exotic plant life such as prehistoric ferns and banyan trees with snaking roots. Steven Spielberg filmed scenes for Jurassic Park in this memorable location because it's reminiscent of the time of dinosaurs. Set out before 10 a.m. to avoid hordes of tourists that also want to see the impressive falls. The Halewa Surfer Signs the surfer signs are another worthwhile photo spot for shutterbugs to scope out. They were designed by Carol Beller in 1996 as a way to attract visitors to Halewa Town. The plan worked because they're now a popular Oahu landmark. There are two signs to see, the surfer girl at 62330 Kamahameha Highway and the surfer boy at 62400 Joseph P. Leong Highway. Carve out enough time to visit and take a photo of them both to get the full experience. Sunset Beach 
This two-mile stretch of soft beige sand sits about an hour outside Honolulu. It's a famous wave surfing destination in the winter and a great place to swim in the summer. It also offers visitors the opportunity to relax and, as the name suggests, watch the sunset. Laniakea Beach This beach is also known as Turtle Beach because it's a favorite habitat of the Hawaiian green sea turtle. These animals are reclusive, so visiting Laniakea may be your only opportunity to get up close and personal with them. Free parking spots are available across the street. Walk to the far right of the beach and come in the summer months between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. or around sunset. That's the best time to catch a glimpse of the turtles or just enjoy everything the beach has to offer. The Banzai Pipeline This North Shore beach is like a magnet to surfers who want to ride its barreling waves. It's also a perfect spot to watch them at work if you're interested in the sport but not yet confident enough to get on a board. Come in December for the best waves. Sharks Cove Despite its name, there are no sharks in this area. The reef surrounding it just looks like a shark from above. You'll find a wide range of marine life, including butterfly fish, parrotfish, surgeon fish, tang, sea turtles, and eels. It's one of the best free locations for snorkeling on the North Shore. Visit in the summer to avoid the large waves that arise in the winter. Rent or bring your own snorkeling gear, and be sure to arrive early to get the best parking spot. Omaluhia Botanical Garden Ho'omaluhia means to take a place of peace and tranquility, and that's exactly what the Hawaiians did when they created these beautiful gardens. Relax under the palm trees and other local plant life. The gardens are open from 9 to 4 every day. Arrive early to make sure you get a parking spot while avoiding the crowds. Kailua Beach Park and Lanikai Beach These are the top two ranked beaches on the Windward Coast. They're located directly next to each other, meaning you can visit them both on the same day. The beaches are popular thanks to their warm water, perfect for swimming. They also have important differences to keep in mind. Lanakai is often considered the more beautiful, but requires you to park on the street and has no public restrooms. Kailua has designated parking and public restrooms. The Lanakai Pillbox Hike This 1.8-mile hike takes 60 to 90 minutes to complete. It's considered moderate to hard difficulty, but the picturesque views of Lanakai Beach and the Mokula Islands it provides make the trek worth it. The Makapu'u Point Lighthouse Trail Your entire family can hike this trail, pets included. It's 30 minutes from downtown Honolulu, making it easy to access. Two hours and 2.5 miles may seem like a long trip, but paved paths make it less strenuous and there are plenty of benches to rest on. The beautiful sights you'll see are the best part of this trail. You can catch a glimpse of the nearby Molokai Island on clear days and may even see a humpback whale if you visit from December to April. Nu'uanu Pale Lookout This historic landmark offers beautiful views of Oahu's windward coast. It's only 5 miles from Honolulu and it's easy to access. You'll get a glimpse of Kaneohe Bay, Kailua, and other important landmarks here. Be prepared for strong winds because it sits within a natural wind tunnel. Entry is free, but parking costs 5 bucks. You'll need to bring a bit of cash if you want to ensure your car is waiting for you when you come down from the lookout. Ala Moana Shopping Center A short bus ride from Waikiki will take you to the largest outdoor mall in Hawaii. When you're done window shopping, you can enjoy free events and performances. You may want to also check out Skiroakia, a Japanese village walk. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Hawaii? Let us know in the comments section below.